thing that is in place now to face, face the crisis for coronavirus, okay? Since uh, the state of alarm has been uh, declared, uh, there have been many, many uh, economic and social measures approved by the government. Uh, the, these measures appear in the royal degrees, okay, or a similar law, uh, and this is complicated. So, uh, I, as Ali said, I am Neva Pizarro. I work for CADES since 2006. A college is an entrepreneurship center next to the town hall. We have an office there, but all over Andalusia, uh, you can get support for uh, starting up your business, uh, ask questions, uh, how to proceed, which are the procedures, funding, etc. Okay. Uh, today, today, our goal is that you uh, get clearly all the information about economic measures and uh, put in place for the government of Spain uh, and taking uh, by the, or to face the crisis of coronavirus, okay? I am going to explain the, the most important and relevant or what I consider it would be helpful for you, okay? Because every day you, you probably heard that, that yesterday uh, just one more measure uh, has been approved regarding the renting of uh, locals and uh, houses, uh, the renting payments, okay? So uh, I am going to concentrate this presentation in the measure that I think would be more convenient for you and that you can apply for, okay? Um, shall we start? Are you ready? Okay. Well, self-employed workers during the coronavirus crisis, okay? First measure, does the extraordinary allowance, allowance for, uh, well known for prestación extraordinaria cese de actividad. This is more or less like the paro of autonomy, okay? But this is an extraordinary benefit that can uh, re be requested by self-employed self workers. Who can, first question, who can request this benefit, okay? In the normative, uh, which is the Royal Decree uh, number 8, 2020, March, 70 March, okay, appear that this uh, extraordinary allowance uh, can, uh, can, yeah, can be applied uh, for any self-employee worker registered in the social security system and who is affected by the suspension of closure of his, her business, okay? So this is very important. In the normative, in the law, uh, appear a, a list with all the activities that has been susp suspended. And uh, for that reason, all self-employed workers can, that uh, has been suspended, uh, their activity or affected, has been affected for this uh, suspension or closure of their activities can apply for this extraordinary allowance, okay? But what happens if your activity has not been directly suspended by the, the, by the law, by the government, okay? Well, if you can demonstrate that your incomes has, has, been, has been less than 75% in the month prior, to which you apply for this allowance, okay, comparing with the six previous months, you can also apply for this. I don't know if this is clear, but if you have question later, we can answer that, okay? So there are two cases. One, self-employed worker affected by the suspension or closure of his business, her business, okay? And the other, the, in the other cases, where the activity is not suspended of closure, you can apply if your incomes in the month prior to application has been less than 75% of the incomes comparing with the six previous months, average of the six previous months, okay? 
this is an extraordinary benefit that almost nowadays every self-employed worker can apply for. Okay. Second question: What are the requirements? How can I apply for them? And can I apply for? Well, first thing is that you have to be, be outdated in the payments of your social security fee. This is very important. Okay. Well, if you are not up to date, the government in the law, the self-employed worker of the government gives you, gives you a, a period of 30 calendar days to get up to date with this. So this is the first and principal requirement. You have to be updated in the payments for social security fee. Okay? If not, you can uh, you have a period of 13 calendar days to get up to date with the payments. Okay. And which are the suspended activities that I mentioned in the first uh, point? Okay. All these activities are, are uh, listed in uh, the article number 10 of the Royal Decree 463-2020. But for uh, you to know it, okay, has been suspended all the uh, establishment and recreational activities, hotels, restaurants activities, okay, commercial establishments are suspended, except food, beverage, products and basic necessities, pharmaceutical centers, health centers, veterinary centers, present and stationary, tobacconist, fuel, technological and telecommunication equipment centers, laundries, dry cleaners. Okay, this is more or less the activity that are suspended by the Royal Decree. If you want to uh, be sure that your activity, if your activity is or not suspended, you can go to the article number 10 where you can see all the activities list. Okay. And uh, where can I apply for in the Mutua? When you uh, make your Alta de Autonomo, you choose a Mutua. Okay. Frame up, Acepello. Even Mutua Moore, Mutua Zaragozana, there are a lot of Mutuas, but uh, all the self employed workers, once they, they tramit the, the, the Alta, okay, has to choose one Mutua. Well, the application and not the procedure will be covered by the Mutua. So you have to uh, uh, apply and to contact the Mutua, even via telephone or email. You have to apply and you have to contact them for seeing what are the procedures to follow in order to apply for this extraordinary allowance. Is the mutua, no social security, the mutua, okay? Which is the application period? Well, the period is open until 14 April, okay? But if the state of alarm is prorogated, postponed, okay? Then the period will be the last day of the month that the uh, state of alarm ends, okay? So you can apply right now until 14 April, apply, uh, April sorry, and if the state of alarm is postponed, okay? Then until the last day of the month, that the state of alarm finish, okay? What is the amount of this extraordinary allowance? Well, in general, would be 70% of the base, cotization base, okay? That means you are now paying as a social security fee, which is calculated, taking a base, okay, a base, base amount, okay? So 70% of this base will be the amount 
of these extraordinary allowance. Okay, if you are uh, paying now the tarifa plana, the well known as tarifa plana, which is uh, 60 euros per month, more or less. Okay, in that case, the base that will be taken for that is the 944. If you calculate the 70% of the 944, more or less, the amount will be 661. Okay. Other questions. Do I have to pay social security fee during the state of Alan if I apply for this exceptional allowance? Yes, you have to. Okay. If you uh, decide uh, before or even when the uh, state of Alan is uh, declared, you decide uh, uh, give yourself as baja autonomo. Okay, you have now a problem because one of the requirements together with the other one that I mentioned before be uh, uh, up to date with the payment, other of the requirements is that you have to be autonomous if you want to uh, uh, apply for these uh, extraordinary allowance. Okay, so you have to continue paying your social security fee. Okay. What happens if they recognize you, the social security finally and the mutual recognize you the uh, extraordinary allowance? They will pay you back, they will pay you back the month fee. Okay? So if you apply for the, for the allowance and uh, or the, the extraordinary benefit and you get approved, then the social security social security fee that you have paid will be returned directly for social from the social security into your account bank account okay what happened if i am joined the tarifa plana the well known as tarifa plana okay nothing again if you apply you will still pay this, if you apply for the extraordinary benefit, for the extraordinary allowance, you will continue to pay once the uh, state of alarm ends, you will continue to pay the tarifa plana fee. Don't worry. Okay? It doesn't, uh, because this is not a suspend, a, a, a stop with the activity. This is a suspension of the activity. Okay? How can I prove the deduction of invoicing? Okay, remember that uh, I also told you that there are two cases. The first one is when you, your activity has been suspended by law. So here, nothing to say, but if your activity is not suspended, okay, but your invoicing in the prior month or the month prior to uh, application has been reducted, to the 75%, this is at, at least, okay, 75% comparing to the average for the previous months, okay, you have to prove that to apply for the extraordinary allowance. How can I prove? Okay, we can use, we can use all the accounting information we have. For example, copy of the registered book of invoices issued and received, daily book of income and expenses, a purchase and expenses book. For those autonomous uh, self-employed self workers that no, are not obliged to keep the books, to prove this volume of activity, uh, we can use other evidence admit by law, okay? Uh, what I recommend you is to contact your accountant to collect before contacting the Mutua all this information, accountancy information, books, uh, uh, income and expenses books and uh, everything that can prove because I told you the mutua is not going to make easy 
I mean, they are gonna ask for those documentation, for this documentation. Together with this documentation, in both cases, in the case that activity is suspended and in this one that we are talking out about, you have also to add an affidavit declaration, okay? This is more or less the documentation that the mutual is asking for, okay? This is second measure. Ali, do you prefer that we answer the questions regarding the uh, extraordinary allowance or go, uh, go ahead and then at the end we answer the questions? I th yeah, I think answer the couple of questions that are there already in the chat. Can you see those questions? Let me see. Okay, so the first one is um, from Debbie. Can you please explain again about the 70% of the base amount? Okay, yes. Well, if your activity is not suspended, uh, well, uh, and, but you have to close the business, okay? Uh, you can apply for that, for that uh, extraordinary uh, allowance. But I have to prove and I have to show that in the month prior to application, my billings, my invoices, everything, okay, regarding the sales that I have, that vol operating volume has been fall down, okay? At least 75% comparing with the six, average of the six previous months. What does it mean? I go to the, for example, we are now in uh, April 1st, okay? So, I am going to apply now because I have time until 14 May, uh, April, okay? So I will take the month of March where I suppose my sales has been deducted because the declaration on the state of alarm, okay? And because I have to close my business, okay? So I am going to compare this month of March or the, ma the month of March with the six previous months of activity, the incomes, the invoices, okay? So if in the month of March, my invoices, my operation volume has been reducted and is less than 75% of this average, I can show that and I am able to apply for this extraordinary allowance, okay? And how can I show that? Again, with the book, accounting books, uh, uh, books for expenses and incomes, invoices issued and received, okay? With, uh, finally, with every uh, administrative documentation, accounting documentation that can prove that I deduct my activity because this declaration of the state of alarm and my sales has been seriously uh, affected. The next question, is it net income or actually invoiced and not including expenses? No, only included the invoicing, invoicing, okay? Billing invoices, that's it. You have to take only the invoices that you uh, make in the month of March, uh, in the month prior, to the application, if you are going to do the application now, which I will uh, recommend you, of course, you will take only the incomes, not the expenses. But to show that there is a book, a book that the accountant normally has, which is the book for incomes and expenses. So you can get a copy of that to prove that your sales have been deducted are affected by the declaration of the state of alarm. Okay. Um, Joanna's asking, where can we find out which Maltua we signed up for? Because she's been asked okay. for years and she can't remember. Okay. In your Alta de Autonomo, okay? When the accountant or yourself did the Alta de Autonomo, you choose, normally you choose an, a, an a Mutua, okay? Because let me explain you something. 
if you have a head pain or you have a uh, stomach pain, you go to the normal doctor, okay, Centro de Salud. But if you get, if you have of an, a laboral accident of a professional sickness occurs, you go to the mutua to get the baja, okay? So this is very important. And the mutua it covers you, the laboral, you cover your accidents, laboral accidents and professional sickness, okay? So when you um, start off as a self-employee, when the accountant or yourself give to the social security all your details to be self-employed, you also at that moment have chosen a mutua, okay? And that's the, that's, then this mutua appear in your ALTA, okay? So if you want to apply for this extraordinary advance, you have to go to the mutua directly. And the mutuas are like uh, very common, the, the most common mutuas are FREMAP, Aspello, even Mutua Amur, Mutua Zaragozana, uh, I think there is other one, Ceuta Melilla, something like that. But uh, the most uh, common are Fremat, Acepello, even Mutua Amur. You can see that in the Alta de Autonomo, okay? And if you have not a documentation at home, just ask your accountant or your laboral uh, accountant, your laboral assessor, okay? Consultant, your laboral consultant. Thank you, Joanna. Did you have another question? Because I can't unmute you because um, Ava's the host. So if you have another one, can you either type it or unmute yourself? Um, Carol is asking, where can we find the Article 10, which shows a list of activities suspended by the law? In the uh, Article number 10, okay? Uh, in the Article number 10 of the Royal Decree, uh, let me see, 463, 2020. Royal Decree, 463, 2020, Article 10. And do we go to BOA? website to find that is that where it no where this is the, it? It normally has been published in the boe boletin yeah. oficial del estado okay normally all that the documentation laws and royal decrees are published in, in the boletin oficial del estado boe okay but uh, wendy uh, almost now actually almost all the activities has uh, has been suspended because uh, uh, with the exception of the food, beverage, and uh, the rest of the, the essential uh, primary necessities, uh, uh, locals and establishment, all the rest of, act of activities have been suspended, okay? So, uh, la last uh, uh, Wednesday, uh, Friday, I think, last Friday, uh, no, sorry, Sunday. Last Sunday, the president of the government uh, said that uh, uh, every single person, every worker has to go home and take uh, uh, permiso retribuido. So that means also that the, 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 bus, the bus of this person has also to close the business because without workers, how can I go uh, ahead with my business? So almost nowadays, all the activities are suspended uh, with exception uh, the uh, the primary necessities, okay, uh, 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 beverage, meat and uh, food and uh, these kind of things, clinics of course, healthy services and uh, etc. Perfect. Ava, are you covering social security later on in your presentation? Sorry. Are you covering social security? later on in your presentation no because because this is uh, this is the only uh, uh, benefit of uh, uh, um, uh, yeah prest uh, allowance that uh, social security has been uh, put in place by the government you know so the government the only thing that uh, with social security uh, prestation and fees and uh, uh, allowance uh, the only thing that has been uh, um, uh, taking as a, as a economic measure is that is the prestación económica. 
for the okay. activity. No, other question. You mean other question regarding social security? Or yeah, Joanna's got another question about social security, but she wasn't sure if you were going to cover social security. She, she can tell me if you want. She can answer. Okay. Okay. Yeah. And Ava's asked if this recording of this webinar is going to be available after. Yes, it will be. So you can go through it again. Um, so if you don't apply for the Prestation Extraordinaire, can you still apply for the Malta on Social Security? Apologies for my Spanish. No, I, 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 uh, <laughs> Let me tell you something. Uh, I think this is not clear. You have, you can apply for the extraordinary allowance, and where in the mutua, okay? All the tramits and all the procedures and all document documentation is available in the mutua. So, if you want to apply for that, you have to go to the mutua or ask the mutua, phone the mutua write an email for example okay but uh, if you uh, don't want to apply it doesn't matter you go further with your social security payments uh, every month and that's it okay it doesn't matter this is a uh, allowance uh, that uh, well, you are not obliged to apply for if you want to apply if not no problem Okay. I don't, I don't know if it answered the, the question. Joe, did that answer your question? Yes. Okay, good. Okay. Um, Sarah's just asking, the way that she invoices is actually the month of April is the one that shows the loss. Do I just keep everything on file and submit it later? Uh, mm -hmm. I... Again, the question again, please, Ali. Yes, yeah, so um, she will have made a loss um, which will only show during the month of April. So does she still keep everything on file and submit that in April, in, no. at the end of April? No. No. Okay. Only you have to submit only the information regarding the prior month to which you will make the application. So if you are gonna apply in the March, in the, in the month of April, the information is regarding the month of March. You will submit information for March, okay? And comparing with the six previous months, okay? So February, January, December, November, October, and September. For the, those six months, you will make the average of the incomes. And if you can show that the incomes in March has been less than 75% comparing to this average, you can apply for it. But month of April, not because, uh, well, no, only March, the month prior to uh, application. Okay, Sarah, does that answer your question? Um, yeah, a few people are saying, so, so will they, um, the loss of activity will be for April, so would we then be applying in May? Well, the, the period finished the 14th April, although if the state of alarm has uh, or is extended by the government, yes, you can apply. But now the period ends the 14th April, okay? So if, if the government, the extended period, uh, the state of alarm until May, then, it is possible to apply also in May, but now the PDO is open until 14 March, uh, sorry, April, April. Okay? Okay. okay. Um, Madeline says the majority of my income comes in and is invoiced April to October. So the average for the sixth month prior to March is not a good average. She's, she has a um, 
rental company. So obviously April to October, she would have earned some good income. Yeah. What else can she do? No, well, I'm sorry, but nothing. Because if you apply in April, you have to show the invoices of, of, uh, of uh, March comparing with the previous six months. So if your activity goes from April to October to October and, uh, and uh, uh, you have a, a good sem semester, then it gonna, it's going to be difficult to, uh, to show that. Okay, but if the, 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 the incomes in March has been less than 75% of this period, April, October, yes, you are right, you can, you can apply and probably you will be, uh, uh, or your application will be approved. If you can show that and, and demonstrate that with the accountancy information, okay? So Ava, let's continue with your presentation. Okay, no more questions? Not at the moment, I'm sure there will be though. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Second measure, tax deferral, okay? Who can ask for the tax payment deferral, okay? Well, all the self-employee workers and small and medium enterprises with a volume of transaction not exceeding in 2019 the six million euros. Self-employed workers and small and medium enterprises with a volume of operation not exceeding in 2019 the six million euros. So more or less, I think everyone here. So you can uh, postpone the payment, defer the payment for a maximum of six months, okay? Six months. Which are the taxes that I can defer? Well, all the taxes included in the um, uh, formula 130, 131, this is, this is payment for IRPF, okay? Quarterly BIT, which is included in the formula 303. Fractional payment of corporation, in case of a, a sales of, okay? This is a formula 202. All the tax declared in the model 115, 111, and 123. Okay, so probably you have to do in April your tax declaration, the BIT or IEPF declaration. Okay, so uh, in, uh, imagine that you have uh, or your declaration, your declaration uh, comes with uh, a debt you have to pay. Okay, so you can postpone the payment of, the ta of, of the, these taxes. Okay. Uh, six months. That it doesn't mean that you have not to do the declaration. The declaration has to be done. If you uh, are not the one doing it and it's the accountant, the accountant has to do, okay? The uh, auto declaration or liquidation of the VAT and other payments, ta tax payments. But if you have not cash or liquidity to pay, you can postpone the payment. You can't defer the payment. Six months. The three first months without interest. Okay? The other three, you will be charged with an interest rate. Okay? And this is for all the tax uh, declarations in the period of 30 March until 30 May. Okay, so all the tax declarations that you have to make now uh, or from the 30 March until 30 May, uh, you, uh, if uh, as a result of this declaration, uh, you have to pay, you have a debt with the tax uh, office, okay? You can defer the payment of these taxes six months 
without th the first the first three months without interest and the rest with an interest uh, rate okay you have to do the declaration as normally as usual you make your declaration and you make uh, a, a, a application for tax deferral where you will uh, click on the there is a special field you know special box that you can uh, type for um, deferral due to state of alarm coronavirus okay so this is another measure that the government put into place for those self-employed workers affected by the state of alarm tax deferrals the most uh, common or well known for us uh, the IAPF the BIT the quarterly BIT the uh, 115 and the 111 more or less okay questions about that okay so the measure the eco guarantees i think that ali uh, you put something in the face where you add uh, documentation regarding these guarantees i think a uh, few days ago something i think you, you you did didn't you yeah i think so um eco guarantees okay uh, well um, uh, the objective of this funding line is to facilitate the access to the credit, to the liquidity, okay, to cash for all the companies, self-employed workers affected for the coronavirus crisis to, 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 to face the economic impact that this has in, in, in his activity, in his, in his normal activity, okay? Uh, this uh, funding or financing line will be in form of guarantees so if you have some uh, payments that uh, that you, you need to do some payments in the in the in, in these coming months okay and you are not uh, uh, able to to pay because you have not cash not liquidity okay because the situation that we are living now okay what uh, did the government government uh, guarantee through the eco that you can have access to loans or credits to uh, face these payments okay it's not that the, the government is going to give you the money no the money you are going to uh, you, you have to go to the entities to the financial entities to the banks and ask for these lines, okay, financing lines, and the government will guarantee your uh, loan, your credit, okay, face to, 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 to in, in the bank. The guarantee, the guarantee will come from the government for the bank, okay, for you to get possibility to, uh, to uh, face those payments, okay. It is, cover, uh, it is covering uh, new loans and uh, financing forms, okay, to facilitate uh, payment wage, wages, invoices, supplier payments, need for liquidity, uh, tax obligation as well. And uh, the financial entities operating this are the credit institutions the banks okay and other other uh, electronic money institutions but normally the banks okay this is this uh, the third measure that the government takes uh, in order to facilitate the uh, cash the liquidity for the self-employed workers affected by the crisis okay Questions so far? Yep, so um, one question is um, from Paula. She would normally do her tax declaration the first week of July. 
Yeah. The tax def deferred only until the 30th of May. How does this work? Okay. The tax deferred we only affect to the tax declarations which the deadline is between the 13 March and the 30 May. So if you have to declare something in July, this line is not for you or the, the tax deferral is not for you. This only affects to the taxes that you have to declare in the period of 30 March until 30 May. And again, the, the most common uh, taxes that uh, is, con is in this period, uh, are, have the deadline in this period, are the BIT and the IRPF. Okay? And uh, you can apply, you have to do your, your liquidation, your declaration in the tax office, you or your accountant, of course. You have to do the declaration and uh, you can at the same time apply for the tax payment deferrals. Clicking in a field that is especially designed for coronavirus crisis. Okay? But you have to present your declaration and what you do is ask for a tax deferral. Okay? For the BIT, for IRPF, uh, for the, the formula and uh, this is also IRPF at this for a trend, the formula 115, 111, etc. And the loan, the bank loans that you just mentioned, yeah. are they subject to interest? Uh, no, this is only meant, these uh, uh, loans that you can apply in the entities, in the credit uh, entities, in the banks, this is only meant to uh, to uh, um, to uh, give you cash, cash to to face the liquidity necessities that happen because the crisis. Okay, this is for invoices, supplier invoices, payment of wages. Mm, uh, other uh, liquidity needs for uh, tax obligation, financial obligation, but not for insurance. Good, okay. I think carry on with your presentation. Okay. Uh, Acelera PYME. Well, this is all the measure uh, as part of the economy support in order to help the small and medium enterprises and self-employed workers to mitigate the impact of uh, the crisis, okay? And this is not more than a platform and pro program, program design uh, that uh, designed by the government that contains a platform, okay? This is a collaborative platform. It's public and open to all the people that want to participate, okay? And uh, uh, where you can find uh, technological solutions for your company, okay? Uh, this is more or less aimed to maintain the activity from home, okay? And uh, advancing also in the, the transformation of the, uh, the digital transformation of the companies. Okay, what can I uh, fi find in this platform? Okay, well, uh, solutions for uh, remote work, uh, um, uh, tools and advice on cyber security. Uh, also funding, okay, lines of funding or financing instrument to uh, to up, uh, to uh, cover this in your company, the digital transformation of your company, and um, advice in which are the the the, the technological tools and and, uh, and uh, resources that I can use in my company now, etc. 
this is a, 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 a platform, a collective a collaborative platform where they are open or it's open for all agents and there are companies uh, providing solutions and then there are also entrepreneurs there are uh, companies uh, uh, trying to get advice on how are the, the best tools to use in the company now etc okay and um, well le, last but not least information about rental payments okay uh, yesterday uh, the ministers of uh, of the government of spain uh, were meet uh, to uh, to uh, put into the table onto the table this uh, this uh, question this matter the, the matter of the rent rent payments this is a also a big problem now uh, because it's affecting double i mean it's affecting uh, to the owner of the of the locals or for the okay the, the local uh, but it's also affecting to the the one uh, renting the local okay the self-employed worker renting the local so uh, they approved a battery of uh, of uh, of measures in in uh, regarding the, the rental payments and um, there are two there are two situations first one is if the owner of the local has not more than 10 locals is proprietor of 10 locals okay less than 10 locals in that case you as a, a as a as a person renting this local can talk to the to the owner and ask for for an uh, a deferral again in the payment of the of the rental and uh, the owner has seven days to answer you if you are not getting an agreement in terms of payment made the, the payment later or whatever you are able to go again to the credit institutions and ask for a loan to pay that without interest okay again the government will guarantee these loans okay and the second case the second case is that the the owner of the locals has more than 10 10 or, or more locals establishment in that case uh, the government uh, decide that this person had two options or agree with the person renting the local agree uh, and deferral of the payment okay or even pay only the 50 percent of the renta okay this is the two options that the owner the, the, the owner of more than 10 locals has okay or the further of payments I, they close an agreement with and the further of the payments or he's more or less obliged to uh, fit to, to take only the 50 percent of the uh, rental this is more or less the information uh, about the rental payments uh, has been published today i think in the boy again with other uh, social measures uh, like uh, renta minima for uh, uh, a specific collective uh, a specific person okay with a minimum uh, incomes and uh, with um, yeah uh, difficult uh, situation now okay so but this is the polish i think today and uh, and um, for more specific information please take a look to the boy uh, this is very important all the information that i am giving you today uh, uh, is information that i collect okay and i prepare based on the, the royal decrees and other law but it's very important that you compare this information you check you check out this information with all the uh, administrative tax uh, 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 resources um, that are available now in, uh, like tax office 
social security, mutua, all these uh, offices uh, and resources uh, has to be checked out, or this information has to be checked out with this, uh, this, uh, with this, the information that these organizations have, okay? This is very important. Um, finally, there are questions about that. There are, but you, uh, you finish and then we can go through any more questions. Let me, let me uh, if you, if you don't mind, let me, uh, let me answer the questions because this is oh, okay. Good not okay. related to, okay? Okay. So Jan is asking, she's renting a locale. How can she find out more about how many locales her landlord owns? Okay, in the boy, I, 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 I'm sorry, I have not here the boy number, but I can, I can look for that and I will uh, image you Ali, okay? Okay. And, uh, and uh, I will uh, let you know uh, the number, the, the, the page and everything, okay? okay. This is, uh, because this is uh, a very fresh information. It has been uh, talking about yesterday and, uh, not uh, time enough to, to take a look, okay? It's more or less the information that I collected, but uh, I didn't have so much time to, to, to put in, in the presentation, okay? Yeah, that's perfect. And um, Marianne's saying that she, um, her HESTOR has applied for unemployment benefits on the 18th of March, but she doesn't think it will be processed for a long time because there's a big backlog. Have you got any idea when that you would receive, start receiving the payments? Uh, first, First thing, it's very important to, uh, to, 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 to differentiate the unemployment, okay, with the extraordinary allowance, okay? Because the unemployment uh, prestation of, of uh, allowance is in the case that you finish, you stop the activity, okay? With the uh, extraordinary prestation, you have not. This is only a suspension of the activity, okay? This is very important. So uh, I don't know exactly uh, uh, where the, whether she asks. She means the extraordinary allowance. She's just, ah, okay. she just corrected it herself. Not, not idea, but uh, um, the, the Mutua are uh, working on that and uh, uh, they are very quick, okay? But... Uh, I, 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 am, I have no idea how many times of day, days it will take it until he, she receives an answer, okay? But anyhow, um, probably they already charge social security fee into the account. You are, uh, I will uh, recommend uh, her to uh, continue paying the social security fee okay don't uh, stop with that and if the uh, extraordinary allowance is approved they will get or she will get back in the in the account the the money for the for the monthly fee okay debbie was your question answered if not do you want to unmute yourself and ask your question Um, in the meantime, Irene's saying, um, when you say go to credit institution for a loan to pay rent on a locale, is this normal ICO loan or a different loan? No, no, the banks, the banks, uh, 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 credit institutions, uh, the banks, your, okay. your, uh, your bank, okay, where you use uh, to, to go for, for other things, uh, like a hypothek or for mortgage, sorry, mortgage or, or other things, okay? Your bank. Um, and Jan is saying, um, how can she, she's lost more than 70% of her income, Yeah. Um, but she doesn't apply, she doesn't qualify for an extraordinary allowance, but her shop has been closed since the 14th of March. So what can she do? Uh, why is she not? Uh, why uh, does she think that she's not uh, uh, allowed to uh, apply for that? Um, it's a food shop. Well, it's a tea shop. It sells loose tea, which comes under food. Well, I understood that even when the uh, activity is open, okay, your activity in your uh, commercial uh, establishment is open, you uh, and you are a self-employed worker, uh, when you le, le lose also say you can apply also for the extraordinary 
extraordinary R01. So, okay, she can apply for that as well. Okay, even when the activity is not suspended and uh, she is still open. Okay. Okay. Perfect. Um, yeah, Debbie, do you want to unmute your your mic yes. and ask your question? Debbie, can you hear me? Okay. Yes, I hear you. Okay. Thank you so much. This information is so useful. It's vital. Thank you. You are um, welcome. I've, I've approached my gestor, and my gestor says that I must prove my address, my home address. Uh, yeah. In to, to process the information, it's but true. all of my utility bills are not in my name, they're in my partner's name. So why do I need to prove my home address? Because it's already registered as my autonomous address. And um, what other documents can I use, please? You, you mean for application? You mean for, an applica for application? Yes, yeah. But, uh, uh, you and your partner has a, a, a have a, a social a limited society or are uh, self-employee. Uh, I'm 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 self-employed. It's my own business. I'm a one-person okay. business. Okay, okay. So you can you can apply for the for the uh, extraordinary allowance and uh, showing the if the activity is not suspended at all, showing the the deduction of the sales. Showing the how, can I, how can I prove my address though? Because the bills, the, the water, and the but I don't. But I, I don't understand why they are asking for the address. I don't understand that. Okay, so it's it's not an official requirement. No, the not not that I know because I saw in the Muta, for example, I I uh, I came into the uh, uh, Framework page, web page last uh, week to see. What are the requirements and the documentation they are asking for? And for example, for people that are working from home, okay, they're not a physical uh, uh, local, okay, and they don't ask for the, this kind of, of, of documentation, okay? This uh, documentation is not appear. Uh, but I also uh, uh, heard yesterday that, for, for example, if you want to apply for the, for the, um deferral of the of the rental okay in that case yes you have to to show your uh, activity that your activity is in this local and you have to show the the certificado for example okay the certification but uh, in in your case you are working from home and uh, in in the mutua don't ask for that documentation okay at least that is what that is what I showed last week, okay? They are asking for the affidavit, for the uh, books, accountancy books, the income uh, books. E even they are asking for the payment uh, um, receipt for social security for the last month, and that's it, but not for uh, a certification, empadronamiento, nothing like that, okay? Um, Jan is saying, how can she prove that her business was suspended when it actually comes under a, a shop that you're allowed to have open during the um, okay. alarm? Okay. Well, uh, uh, when you, uh, uh, if you contact the Mutua, there are two kind of of, uh, of uh, formulas. Let's say like that, no? Or they 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 have a formula, but they have two different fields. Okay, the boxes where you can click if your activity is su suspended and if it's not there is another one that you can uh, click on uh, for demonstration of the uh, uh, of the reduction of the sales so if the activity is suspended uh, with the royal decree in the, in their hands and they can show that is an a suspended activity and how can i do that uh, you can check out also the CENAE, C-N-A-E, okay, which appear also in your autonomo alta. In your alta de autonomo appear the C-N-A-E, okay, that is a code, a number, assignated to activity. So if this code is in the list and there is an activity suspended, no problem. You can ask in the mutual for this. And if it's not, included in the list, you can go further with the process with the reduction of the sales. 
good. I don't know if, he, if I answered the, the question. Yep. No, well, I understood, so hopefully. Okay. So did anybody else have any questions that um, they can either, well, it's probably best to unmute yourself. It's top right, I think, okay. of your screen, um, to unmute yourself and then ask the question. If not, put it in the chat. Uh, uh, sorry, sorry, I, I lose a little bit the, 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 the connection. Um, that's okay. I was just saying if anybody had a final question to put it either in the chat or unmute themselves. Okay. And then they can just ask you the question. Okay. And what Ava has said, she's kindly offering her email address to anybody that wants um, to keep in touch with her over the uh, state of alarm. Um, and also going forward for the services that um, Carde offer, because I'm, I think there's quite a lot of people that have never heard of Carde before, and they do offer really good services to self-employed workers, including doing business plans, marketing plans, all sorts of uh, finding out what you're entitled to. It's a really, really good service. Um, Irene said, I have an employee with no bank account. Who do they get paid unemployment benefit? Can he use his girlfriend's account? Okay, sorry, again, Ali, because- No, that's okay, no, it's okay. I have an employee with no bank account. How do they get pay paid unemployment benefit? Can they use a girlfriend's account? No, 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 it's not possible. How and uh, he has to 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 uh, well in the unemployment um, application let me let me think about because uh, the formula hmm, well i i will say no but uh, probably you have in the, in the in the application the formula you have a, a, a box again where you can click if you are the, the, the titular of this account, the first person in the account or not. But um, I will, uh, I will recommend, I wouldn't recommend that you put an account of uh, somebody else. Uh, no, okay, I, I don't see it. No, no. And the banks are open at the moment, aren't they, to go and open a bank account? Uh, the bank's account and open. Well, I think I think there there are uh, opening. Not maybe all the offices. Like for example, if you have because I know that because I have Unicaja, for example, and I received yesterday an email telling me that uh, there are um, uh, various uh, offices open. Not all the offices, but uh, for, for example, I I, I, uh, I can go to the Ricardo Sorian office and the, uh, there I can do everything or call, phone call, or maybe also with a digital signature, the certification, digital certification, you can do so, some tramits. I don't know if open an account is one of them, but maybe she can try and, and look what happened, okay? Um, Jan is saying, is it true that all self-employed people are allowed to work? From home, I presume. All self-employed people are uh, allowed to work from home. Yes, yes. Well, uh, well, which is the activity? Oh, she's saying no, not from home. So you mean from your shop, Jan? Because she has a, a, a lady with a tea shop. Yeah. So she means from the tea shop. No, at the moment, at the moment, all the all the activity are uh, f uh, for one reason or the other are suspended okay the only uh, uh, self-employed person that can work uh, is the one working from home okay because uh, it's not affecting the, the normal activity okay uh, if you have a local and uh, you have um, your activity in a local and it's closed because it's suspended the activity or you cannot go there then uh, but I, I will apply for the for the for the uh, extraordinary allowance why not okay so do they need to apply she, cannot, the... she cannot move she cannot drive she cannot move to the to the to the local yeah yeah so can 
the ladies apply for their extraordinary allowance themselves or do they have to do it through their hostel? No, no, they can do it themselves without problem. The, the point is that the documentation, like accountancy documentation, the proof for the books and the, et cetera, is probably in the, in the accountant office, okay? So um, it, 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 I, I recommend them to take contact, to contact the accountant and ask for the documentation first, call to the mutua uh, or better email the mutua because the, the telephone number is uh, ringing, ringing and, and nobody, uh, nobody take it. So write an email down. Uh, at least you have also in written, okay, your application, every question in written, and then uh, ask to the accountant for the information they need to prove that the uh, incomes uh, has been uh, formed, okay? Yeah. Um, Jan is saying that she's getting online orders for her loose tea. Can she go to the shop? to get the goods to then take them to the post office? Uh, the, 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 the point is that uh, once they have the, 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 the tea at home, they have to, to deliver. She has to deliver it to the, the, to the client's home. So how can uh, she do that? I don't know. She can't uh, do it through the post office, through Correos, or are they not? delivering parcels? They are not, no, they are, well, I think that they, the, the post office is not open. Okay, I, I, I don't know, I don't know. I, I, I think it's complicated for, uh, for her now to move and uh, because he, she has also to show. Uh, if she, uh, the police stop her uh, during the, 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 the travel to the, to the office or to the, the shop, uh, the police is gonna ask for permission or certification and probably she tell that, she tells that uh, she needs to go to the to the shops to take some uh, uh, products. The police uh, is gonna say no. Go home back. Right. Go back. Okay. Yeah. It's quite complicated. Yeah. She can she can of course try see what happened. Yeah. Okay. Good. Thank you. Well, thank you very much, Ava. I think everybody has found that very useful. Okay. Um, the. Uh, Marianne, for instance, said that there's a lot of confusion and lack of knowledge. She's seen some posts on Facebook with misinformation that only lead to create panic. So yeah. it's great that you've actually brought clarity. So okay. thank you very much for doing a pleasure, that. A pleasure um, for me. You have my telephone number there, also my mail address. And uh, I am able to answer the questions and the clarify the, the information if, not, if it's not clear enough now. And um, I am. Uh, I will. I will uh, be very pleased if you contact me and uh, and uh, we can talk.